Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're hosting a smaller Thanksgiving this year or if you love turkey breast, you are going to love my maple Dijon garlic and herb roasted turkey breast served with roasted potatoes. This easy and delicious one pan sheet pan dinner is going to be perfect for Thanksgiving or anytime throughout the holiday season. I'm going to get started with that incredible spread. It's made with butter, maple syrup, Dijon, lots of garlic, lots of fresh herbs. Just spread that over the turkey breast and then roast it in the oven along with some potatoes. You can use baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, or even some butternut squash. And the end result is so incredibly delicious. This turkey is super juicy and flavorful, and I love having the potato side dish baked on the same pan. You guys are going to love this easy and delicious recipe. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions, head on down into that video description box and head over to my website for more Thanksgiving side dish ideas. Meanwhile, let's get started on this incredible recipe. I'm preheating my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You wanna get that started right away. Since this dish comes together really quickly, you can have it in the oven in under 20 minutes. I'm going to get started with my spread. I have half a cup of good quality salted butter. This extra fat added to the turkey breast is going to make it extra juicy. And the butter needs to be really nice and soft, almost melted, but not quite. You can even place it into the microwave for like 20 seconds to really soften it up. We're going to start by adding in a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of salt, about a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one tablespoon of fresh thyme, one tablespoon of fresh rosemary, two teaspoons of onion powder, a tablespoon of mustard. I like this um, unground mustard. And I also add in a quarter cup of Dijon mustard. Pour in a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. We'll need six garlic cloves and you can either use a garlic press or a microplane and grate the garlic into the sauce. and then grab a whisk and mix this all together. Want a nice uniform mixture of that butter. Make sure that maple syrup gets well incorporated. I've lined a large baking sheet with a silicone mat. You can also use parchment paper or non-stick foil for super easy cleanup. I'm going to be using two one and a half pound turkey breasts. So we have three pounds total. This recipe will work for three to five pounds uh, since I do have quite a bit of spread here. So first up, we're going to place the turkey right onto the baking sheet. And I like to place it kind of um, off to one side so we have the potatoes on the other side. Before adding the spread, you'll want to grab a few sheets of paper towels and pat the turkey breast dry. This way that spread is going to stick much better. I'm going to start with the bottom of the turkey breast first. Take a nice, generous amount of the spread, apply it to the back side. And then really lather up the top side with the skin facing up. A really nice, generous amount of this. It's gonna create like a little crust over the turkey breast. With our turkey breast season, we can switch gears and work on the potatoes. Today I'm going to be using two pounds of baby potatoes. This recipe will also work really great with sweet potatoes or even some cubed butternut squash. So I've wedged the potatoes into quarters. I'm going to drizzle some avocado oil over the top. This will help all our spices stick. Season with lots of ground black pepper. About a teaspoon of rosemary teaspoon of thyme. I love to add just a little sprinkle of garlic powder. Season with sea salt. And this, by the way, is my favorite salt. I use it for everything. I'll include an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description box below. And some smoked paprika. And then just toss the salt together and then add the potatoes onto the other half of the baking sheet. I also like to add in some onions and a little bit of garlic. I 
My turkey breast dinner is ready for the oven. It's going to roast at 425 degrees Fahrenheit from an hour to an hour and 40 minutes. And that timing really depends on the size of your turkey breast. Mine aren't too big. They're going to probably take about an hour. If you're using something larger like a turkey breast roast, that will take closer to an hour and a half. If you are using a larger piece of turkey, your potatoes are going to be done a little bit sooner than the turkey. So you'll want to just use a spatula, lift them off of the sheet pan and set them onto a separate tray and keep them nice and warm. And I usually don't cover this pan with any foil until the turkey starts to get some really good color on the top. And then I just lay a sheet of foil over the top to tent the, the top of the turkey so it doesn't get too dark. And you want to cook until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I always like to have a handy digital thermometer on hand for this recipe. And then we're going to dig in and enjoy. It's super easy and so incredibly delicious. And my dinner is all done. I placed a little bit of foil for the last 20 minutes over the top. Check this out. Doesn't it look incredible? And before slicing the turkey breast, you want to let it rest for at least 20 to 30 minutes. It'll be really nice and juicy that way. Then grab a sharp carving knife and slice into nice thick half inch slices. And check out the texture on the inside. This turkey is so incredibly moist and juicy. And then we'll arrange everything onto a serving platter. Add those roasted potatoes and onion around the sides. And for a little extra color, I love to add pomegranate to my turkey trays. Just drop some in on the sides. This roasted turkey breast dinner smells so incredibly delicious when it's in the oven. It's going to fill your whole kitchen with the most mouth-watering aroma. For the full list of ingredients and the written instructions, don't forget to head on down into that video description box. Head over to my website, you'll find everything online. Oh, I love the glaze on the top, that spread that we added. It just creates this incredible color and kind of like coating on the outside of the turkey. Oh, this turkey is so incredibly juicy too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the best tasting turkey breast ever. The flavors here are phenomenal. I love that flavoring, the maple syrup, the garlic, the Dijon mustard, the fresh herbs. I mean, this is the best turkey breast ever. It, you know, when you bake a whole turkey, the breast has to cook for the same length of time as everything else, and sometimes it can get a little dry and doesn't have as much flavor, but this, on the other hand, is just wow. I'm gonna grab some of the roasted potatoes here. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the roasted potatoes are so delicious too. I love the seasoning and I love having the, the garlic, the onion, everything ties together so well. All we need is a little side salad and we're going to be set for one incredible dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe over the holiday season. Thank you so much for watching my latest episode. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a comment down below and let me know. I always love to hear from you guys. I'll see you next time with a new recipe.